We're doing an impromptu unboxing of three plants that are inside of this thing. I was super excited about the plants that were in my last unboxing, but I'm super, super excited about the plants that are in this unboxing. I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers. I'd actually cross my fingers on the camera if I wasn't holding the box. You see them around the corner there? <laughs> Ooh, it's a long box, almost. Is it too long to fit in the shot? No, I think it actually just works. My phone's ringing. We're gonna have to start that shot again. Isn't the, the feel of a, of, an, of like a blade like this going through tape is so satisfying to you? It is to me, because it just goes through so buttery smooth. Don't worry, I ain't peeking. Maybe a little one. Hold on, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna POV the, uh, the opening of the box. This is the most exciting part. Whoa, I see a little peak of a leaf right there. There's the rest. We've got, this looks like one tall plant right here. Here's my little pro tip for you. If you create a video of unboxing your, your plant shipments like I do every once in a while, sometimes I do them without you guys, but if you create a video when you're unboxing your plant shipments, it's, uh, it just makes it that much more exciting, not only for you, but even more. I'm the one that actually gets to keep the plant and watch it grow and, and all that sort of stuff. So it makes it even more exciting for you. And that's why we do all this sort of thing, right? Who invented packing products, you know? Like what a business that was. And who knew? They always say you should have invested in, uh, you know, Google or Microsoft or something like that back in the day before, before everyone knew that they were gonna kind of take off. Well, I think the big, uh, the big secret is packing products. Now I think, I think when I unwrap these things, I can remember all of the names by heart. I'm gonna do my best. I'm not gonna look anything up, I promise. No editing tricks, no nothing like that. It's time to unwrap these things individually and I'll tell you what they actually are. And this one, I'm already, I'm already forgetting what this one is. White Dragon Alocasia. Can you guess why I actually got this plant? Can you guess that it's because it was called the white dragon? <laughs> and I love dragons. Look at the, uh, I'm not sure what this is on here. These little bulbs going on some new growth or maybe that's going to be some sort of a, I don't know if that's a new leaf or if that's some sort of a, uh, I don't know. We're just going to have to see. Silver dragon. Did I say white before? Silver dragon alocasia. And let's finish getting this stuff unzipped. See that white leaf right there? Isn't that awesome? Oh man. This is called a white wizard philodendron. This white wizard, I don't know, there's just something about it that, uh, that screamed my name and I was excited to get it. Okay. Isn't this plant cool? I just love philodendrons. Philodendrons are so awesome. And that white wizard is gonna be awesome too. We've got our silver dragon, Alocasia. We've got our white wizard, Philodendron. And we've got one plant left. The, uh, the tallest and the most regal of them all with its leaves even peeking out for a little hello in the beginning of this video. Enough chatting around about this one. Let's actually get it undone. Let me adjust the camera so you can see me do this the best. The stalks of this plant might be starting to give it away because that is what gave it away for me. In fact, I saw this plant on Facebook. I just saw in one of the, one of the uh, house plant groups that I'm in, someone had posted a picture of their version of this plant and I said, wow. I said, I've got to have one of those. Where did I get, where did you get that? Or what is it? And they told me what it was, and I'll tell you what it is in just a second. Okay, this is an Alocasia zebrina. And it's called a zebrina, or at least I think of zebra when I see those awesome looking stalks. So this is an Alocasia zebrina. Let me get a good look at the leaves. This seems to be the newest leaf. I've got a little bit of curling going on in here, but you know what? They've been traveling for days. They were stuck in the, in the post office. 
Everything was a, was a giant shoot show, I'm sure. But don't forget already, we've also got our silver dragon, Alocasia. So two Alocasias. And we've got our white wizard, Philodendron. But if you know me and you know how I do houseplants, you know we're not done here yet. Okay, so I think we're gonna start with our white wizard here. We're gonna head over to our pot collection. And the white wizard is going to be pretty easy because, you know, being called a white wizard, it clearly needs a white pot. I don't have many choices for white pots, and I know they're kind of basic, but I think this one is going to work for a season or two for our white wizard. What do you think? One and done, white wizard in a white pot. It's not quite the blue tones, but it does kind of have these like cool reds in it. And I think that this color matches pretty nicely with the... Uh, with the dark greens and that leaves. So unless we change our mind, I think we're sticking with uh, with this one for the silver dragon for now anyways. I mean, this can always be changed, of course. But this one's gonna be easy, guys. We're not gonna have to hunt around. In fact, I'm not even gonna carry the plant with me. I should have left it over there. I've been working on making my own cement pots. And uh, this was this is one of them right here. And, you know, eventually I would like to transition, honestly, into having all of my plants in these pots, but Right now I just have a few of them. It might be a little bit oversized at the moment, but you know what? I think this plant is gonna fit in just fine with this, uh, with this pot here. But enough messing around, enough gushing about my pots. Let's get over there, let's get some soil, let's get these plants potted up in these things, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll wrap this video up. All right, arguably, one of, the, uh, one of my favorite parts of the actual planting experience is repotting these plants. I think we're gonna start in the order that we chose the pots. We'll start with our white wizard going into our white pot. This thing's already been shipping for days, so we're not gonna trim any of the roots or anything like that, but we do just wanna get as much of that dirt out of there as possible. And take a good look at those roots that we finally got exposed. Pretty neat, huh? Got a little bit of dangly roots there, so I won't put quite as much to begin with. We'll let those dangly roots dangle down in there. We'll maybe throw a little bit more soil around there. We'll put our plant back in, sitting right up, like I said, about an inch away from the, uh, from the top. And now we simply fill her on up. Once I get done potting this guy up, we'll give these plants a drink of water. We'll pick a space for them in the plant room. <sighs> and I think that'll be it for today. Are you getting sad? I'm getting a little bit sad already. Wait for it. <laughs> Isn't that satisfying the way that the roots kind of smoosh down in there? Remember, the soil that you just put into these plants is completely dry. And if it's like my soil, it's full of peat moss. And you need it like a really good soaking in the beginning to kind of get it into that, get it into that moist state. <laughs> there truly is only one thing. Well, there's not, I was gonna say there's one thing left to do. There's two things left to do. We've gotta wait until some of the water drips out of the bottom of those pots out there. I don't want to make a mess all over my shelves and everything like that. Once we get those pots cleaned up, we're going to bring them back in here into the plant room. And we're going to decide where these new plants are going to live. Somewhere in here, where should they go? I don't know. We've got a lot of open space on the shelf over there. We've got a little bit of open space in our little sunny spot, kind of in the, uh, in the jungly corner as I'm talking it. We've got to wait. We've got to wait for all that water to drip a little drain hole in the bottom of the pot. So we can clean it up, we can put it on the shelf, and we can wrap this video up. We can finally wrap it up. Was that an exciting unboxing? To me, that was a, uh, that was a very exciting unboxing. I, I couldn't wait to, uh, to get my hands on one of those Alocasia Zebrinas, just because I've, I've never had a plant where the actual stalks kind of have that stripy look to it. So I'm excited to watch it grow. I'm excited to watch a new leaf sprout out of that thing. And then the other two plants are just uh, plants I know are gonna blow my mind as well. So where should we put our Alocasia? Zabrina, I think we're gonna be boring with this, guys. It's a little bit of a tall plant. I want it to get a little bit of light, but I also want it to, uh, I wanna be able to see it. I think we're gonna put it right here under the old fern tree. Or at least, you know, that's honestly what it's telling me at the moment. Now our last two plants are a little bit dwarfy. Unfortunately, we'll probably fit on this shelf right over here. I'm always looking for plants. These shelves are just never, shelves never seem to be quite high enough to actually put a plant on there that's you know stretching its wings so it's always it's always a treat to find a plant that's just a little bit smaller that can fit onto to one of these shelves i think we're going to put our silver dragon right here 
beside the waffle plant. If you can't see me do that, don't worry, I'll give you a close up before we go. And I think we're gonna put our white wizard right up in that corner there. The three new plants, let's get this cleaned up. So three new plants, we've got our, so three new plants. We've got our silver dragon, alocasia down there, our white wizard, philodendron up there, and our alocasia, zebrina, with its spiky or its, what do you call that, stripy stems. Just hanging out right here in the corner underneath the old fern stem. And otherwise, I'll see you next time with whatever, uh, whatever adventure, whatever planty adventure we go on next. I will, I will see you then.